Now, could you imagine today in modern world, when civilized world today, the, the inhumanity, the inhumanity of the Fulani herdsmen. They will catch old men, pregnant women, young children, and do what with them. Some of them, they slaughter them as you slaughter animals. Butcher them. Inhumanity. Some will, will rip open the wounds of pregnant women and remove children, fetuses, and dash them on the ground. You can imagine what kind of inhumanity is that? The cruelty. Okay. So, the Nigeria, I really don't know. What is going on? I, I, as a Nigerian, I don't even know what is going on. But there's one thing I know, and that is this. Those who come and say that they are brokering peace between the Fulani herdsmen and the indigenous population or so-called farmers, they have achieved nothing. Why? When a typical Muslim Fulani headsman sits with a typical indigenous person or a Christian to broker peace between them, there is something which they lack. They lack the human values of equality. When the two of them sit as NGOs will bring the, the Fulani heads men and we bring the indigenous population of Fulani and ask them, please, could you broker peace? Could you speak peace? Could you now talk about how you can live together in peace? There is one thing which is lacking between the two is the human value of equality. It's not there. So how can you? How can you broker peace when two people don't recognize human equality. The second value is that of justice. Where is justice when a typical Muslim Fulani herdsman and a typical Christian or an ethnic person, when they sit down to broker peace, where is justice between the two of them? They don't have the, they don't have the human value of justice. They don't even have the value of human freedom. That you are free to stay where you are staying. In peace. There's no freedom. 